Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our word is going to come from Psalm chapter 118. And as we look at joy, we've been looking at joy, obviously, uh, starting yesterday morning uh, in this Advent season. Let's continue our trek on the on the on joy here together. So uh, 118, Psalm 118, I'm going to read to you just one verse. You've heard it a thousand times, if not more. Uh, but I, then I want to kind of talk about that verse, but then also look at what uh, precedes that verse. So Psalm 118, verse 23 says, uh, or excuse me, verse 24 says, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And if I, if I can put that in my own little vernacular for a second here, in other words, here's the point. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's have joy in it, guys. Let's be glad in this day because God has made this day. God has given us another day. But what would precipitate this or precede this is me. What would precede this uh, to make the, the, the psalmist want to say these words? Well, pick up verse 21 if you would. He says, I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. And so what he's really saying here, <laughs> sorry guys, everything at once decides it wants to go off in my house here. Anyway, um, but basically what he's saying here is, here's the point. I recognize that my salvation is in you, Lord. You are become my salvation. And it's all because they rejected, for lack of better terms, your son. I mean, that's kind of what we're, when we see the prophecy, you're not what the psalmist is necessarily understanding in these ideas. We see the prophetic part of this, that we see because of Jesus now, I can what? I can remember that this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Isn't that a beautiful thought? He says, this is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes, guys. In other words, keep your eyes focused in the right things and on the right things in this life so that you can rejoice in the day you can be glad in this day because our god is good so i hope this encourages you today as you start your week i love you we love you god loves you and god's got this